What'd you say? Huh? Do you know who I am? An agent pitched me, right? Holy crap, dude. I'm kind of one of those, you know, those deal sluts. I'll go wherever it is. Can you be available tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Sure. See you tomorrow morning. All right, buddy. See ya. Hell yeah. Magic Jack. Like, what kind of ghetto cell phone is that? Something that I can fix up and uh, put it back on the market. <laughs> oh, okay. Like, um, just like your own holdings? Wow. Cool. Have a good day, bud. Thank you, Rita. Do me a favor and save me in your phone as Jamil Cash Buyer. And then when I text you every, you know, month or so, you'll remember who it was. It's Krav Maga Agent Outreach. What's going on, YouTube? Agent Outreach is my favorite way to do lead generation. That's where I cold call real estate agents that I don't have a relationship with. And I ask them if they have anything coming to market that's in original condition or needing a tremendous amount of work. Every real estate agent is going to be different. And I'm not looking to talk to only agents that are doing a bunch of deals. I'm literally going to be calling down the list, starting at A, going to go right through to Z. Probably not going to get all that done while we're watching or doing this one video. But uh, the goal here is to match energy, right? I'm going to match the energy unless it's negative, in which case I'm going to do my best to get off the phone. Truly though, it's about making a connection. It's about being memorable and coming off professional yet fun and at the same time intriguing them to the point where they want to do business with me. Also remember that when you're doing agent outreach, you're very rarely going to get a deal off the first call. These are going to require you to follow up. Usually it takes anywhere between 8 to 13 follow-ups to get an agent to send me an off-market distressed property. Very much like going direct to seller. The only difference being is with real estate agents, I can do a deal over and over and over and over again because they're real estate professionals who get deals constantly. Whereas a homeowner, they sell you one house and it's over. One of the best ways to find a list of agents is to become a member of the Astro Flipping community. I actually give the list of agents away in the entire United States to community members. Also, if you are using the Astro Blaster software, we provide you an agents list as well. So if you are using the Astro Blaster software for agent outreach, uh, you can get a list there. And if you don't have Astro Blaster yet, uh, you should look in the description because there'll be a link there for you. All right, let's rock and roll. Now it is Friday and it is 2.30. So how many of these guys will be too drunk to answer? We'll see. Hi, you've reached Jim Allen. I'm the broker here at Allen and Associates. Please feel free to leave me a message or if I don't respond quickly enough, text me or email me. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Bye. Jim, my name is Jamil. I'm actually looking to see if you can help me with a purchase. I'm looking to buy a house that needs a pretty substantial amount of work. My, my business is fixing and flipping. If you've got anything like that, that you know of that's listed or preferably not listed and coming to the market, I would appreciate hearing from you, James. Give me a call back. My phone number is. Thank you. Hello. Hi, I'm looking for John Anderson. This is he. John, my name is Jamil. I'm uh, are you still a real estate agent here in Phoenix? I am. Awesome. Maybe you can help me out. I'm looking for a property that needs work, something that I can flip. You got anything like that coming to the market I could take a look at? Uh, no, I don't I don't do real estate for the public. I do it for my personal business. So sorry. Oh, okay. Like um just like your own holdings? Wow. Cool. Have a good day, bud. I don't do real estate for other people. I just do real estate for Muppets. Magic Jack customer you have called is unavailable. To Magic your call. Jack customer. Please leave a message after the tone. Like what kind of ghetto cell phone is that? Magic Jack. This guy just texted me and said, I'll call you back. Sounds good. This is Jonna. Hi, Jonna. This is Jamil. Are you, are you still a real estate agent here in Arizona? Yes, I am. Oh, wonderful. Maybe you can help me out. I'm really looking for a property that needs a bunch of work, something that I can fix up and uh, put it back on the market. <laughs> people. <laughs> well, you know, they, they, they do come around every once in a while. And so I, I got to do my part, pull up my sleeves and get to work and talk to people, you know? Yeah. Well, if you would text me your information... Sure. Uh, do you tend to come across those every once in a while? I like the every real, while, the hoarder yeah. stuff, the real, you know, the things that you, the kind of houses you throw your shoes away after you leave them. Exactly. Okay. Are you interested about any manufactured homes? I do. I, 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 as long as they're after 
as long as they're built after 1976, I yeah. love them. Oh, okay. Because we got a single wide. Send me your information. Okay, I'll I'll text you that right now. Um, okay. And then you know respond with the address, and I'll take a look. I, look I'm a really quick quick buyer, so if it makes sense to me. Okay. I'll give you a cash offer, and we can close them up fast. Wonderful. Okay. Okay. It might be an hour or two before I get back to you. No problem, John. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I appreciate chatting with you today. Sure. Thank you. See ya. Bye. 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 Not too bad. Look, two for two. It's interesting. You know, she started off like by saying, "Oh, you and another, you and a hundred other people," but then I just kept the conversation going, and it was like, "Yeah, okay, maybe we do have something." So, like, her initial response was to block me, right? It was like, "Oh, yeah, everybody wants that," but it's like, no. Let's keep the conversation going. I'm not going to let that be how we end this call, right? I'm going to let you say what you're going to say. I'm going to listen to it, and then I'm going to respond to it. And we had a little bit of a, you know, a, a laugh, and then right through the back door. And what do I find when I go through the back door? A manufactured home. Pretty cool. Don't give up on the first no, because sometimes that's just what people say. They're just like, ah, eh, yeah. It's like Krav Maga. You use their energy. Yes. To yes. But whatever he said. Krav Maga? What Krav is Maga. What is that? It's a martial art where you use it's just people with tricks and shit, but you use people's momentum against them. Okay. I like it's Krav Maga agent outreach. Hi, thanks so much for calling. You have reached Elaine Geary with the United Focus Group. This call is so important to me, so please leave your name, number, and a short message, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If it's after 7 p.m., I will call you the next business day, but you can always text me at this number. Thanks again for calling, and make it a great day. Take care. At the tone, please record your message. I gotta leave when her a message. She was such a pleasant voicemail. Hi, Elaine. My name is Jamil. I don't typically leave voicemails, but I have to say your voicemail uh, message sounds very, very sweet and very kind, and it made me feel like I need to do business with you. So I'll quickly tell you what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a property that's in original condition or needing a lot of work that I can fix up and potentially flip. If you have anything like that coming to the market, please, please, please give me a call back. I'm a cash buyer, I am I work quickly, and uh, if we can do a deal, you can represent me possibly and the seller and maybe make double the money. If you are interested in working with me, give me a call back. My phone number is... Thanks, Elaine, bye. Hi, uh, is this Rita? It is. Rita, hi, my name is Jamil. Are you still an agent here in Phoenix, Arizona? Kind of, I have my license on at, at, right now while I try to decide which broker I wanna hang it at. Okay, so I, I guess you probably don't have any potential listings coming yet? I don't, not yet, no. Okay, if you have a second, I'll tell you what I'm looking for and then maybe if you find something, we could we could maybe work together. Okay. I really like those ugly houses, you know, the hoarder stuff or anything that's in original condition or needing a bunch of work. I my my career is I fix houses up and then I, you know, resell them on the uh, on the MLS. And so uh, hoping if you have something like that that comes to mind, you know, I'd love to look at it before you put it on the MLS if possible. Okay. And what was your name? My name is Jamil, J A M I L. Okay, I'll save your number, and if I come across anything like that, I will definitely reach out. Thank you, Rita. Do me a favor and save me in your phone as Jamil Cash Buyer, and then when I text you every you know month or so, you'll remember who it was. Perfect. Appreciate Have a great you. Weekend. You too. Okay. Bye. Pleasant lady. You see, I don't know how why people think that this is such a difficult thing to do. I mean, I'm getting really nice responses from people. Nobody's being rude to me. I do want to start asking people what they think about wholesalers though. Cause I want to see if I get anybody saying some, 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 some shit. What'd you say? What'd you say? Huh? Do you know who I am? Yeah. You're a wholesaler, I hate you. <laughs> Hello, you've reached Kelly Bryant with Red Fox Real Estate. Hmm. Hello. Yeah, hi, is this Bruce? Yes. Bruce, are you still a real estate agent in Arizona? I am a uh, commercial real estate agent. Ah, commercial, okay. Um, so you never deal with anything. Um, well, you do probably have some multifamily potentially, correct? I personally don't do them, no. You don't, okay. Um, no worries. Yep. I, I appreciate you picking up the call. I'm just, I'm looking for a yep. single family house that I can fix up. Uh, not, you know of anything like that? Uh, 
now what's your budget um, i've i've got a budget you know i've i've flipped houses in the million dollar range i've done new construction in the two million dollar range i also flip houses in maryvale and south phoenix so i'm kind of one of those you know those deal sluts i'll go wherever it is and uh how much under market are you typically trying to get well you know it, it needs to have enough in it so that i can with inflation and all the prices going where they've been, it's it's been you know roughly forty dollars a square foot to do uh, anything you know significant in a house, and so I need to have enough room in there to make you know the renovations, cover selling costs, and and maybe make eight to ten percent of my money. So I'm not I'm not trying to get rich on these things. I'm more a volume guy. Have you ever done any kind of uh, like kind of the new things out here, is like teaming up with someone uh, and doing? Uh, renovations and then selling the property i mean like say for instance i'm going to sell my house yeah and but uh, i want to remodel the kitchen yep and do that and uh share in the equity yeah what you're what you're talking about is a novation and i would gladly do that you know of course we want to get to get in front of somebody and make sure that we're not i'm not dealing with a crazy person and then and they also on on their end making sure i'm not a crazy person right but if uh, we we come to terms, I would do that kind of deal all day long. It, it actually helps me out because then I don't have to buy the house, right? So I come in, I spend the money, I do the renovations, I put a you know a deed of trust against the property, just securing my renovation expenses. We then uh, you know we 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 then set a number that's like the baseline, and then anything above that we split fifty fifty. I'll I'll do that deal all day. Because I'm I'm probably going to be doing that with my property soon. Oh, well, Bruce, where is your property located? In Apache Junction. Okay. Uh, what's the price point? Uh, I, I think uh, right now I could get between 1.2 to 1.3. Okay. Uh, it's pretty much been all remodeled, new, new flooring, new lighting, new paint. The only thing I haven't touched are the bathroom and the kitchen. And the pool needs to be resurfaced. Love it. I can do all of those things. Are you open to meeting next week and letting me come and take a look? Sure. Uh, awesome. Hold and, on a second. Let... It's, it's a, a five-acre property. Oh, that sounds great. And if you really want to go crazy, you want to build a uh, uh, RV garage or something like that, then, you know, the, the sky's the limit on those things. Um, how's your weekend looking? You're open? I, I mean, I'd be... You down to go tomorrow? Are you... Uh, can you be available tomorrow at 10 a.m.? Sure. Awesome. What's the address? It's 5... Yep. North Apache Junction. Awesome. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you a text message right now so that you've got my uh, phone number, Bruce. If anything comes up in the evening or in the morning tomorrow that with the time needing to change, then uh, send me a message. But if I'm just gonna assume if I don't hear from you that all is well and I will uh, head over there and see you there at 10 a.m. Sounds good. Uh, I, when you come up, I'm right at the base of the mountains. Okay. Over, and you can overlook uh, superstitions and all that. Yep. Uh, but when you come up north, I am the last driveway it's where the pavement ends on the left and so you the, the drive drops down into uh the, the property and it's about a 500 yard five, uh, five yeah 500 foot driveway love it if i if i if i get lost or whatever i'll give you a call outside but i'm 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 pretty sure i'll figure it out all right sounds good see you tomorrow morning all right buddy see ya hell yeah and it's way better because I don't got to take the property down. I don't, I don't got to get loans. I don't got to put down payment on to pick, buy the house. I just secure the property. I secure the renovation expense against the property. We come to terms with like, hey, this is the baseline price. This is where I think we can sell it for. I'll make the investment into the property for the renovation of the kitchen and the bath. And then we'll split whatever the upside is on the other side. I mean, this guy pitched me. An agent pitched me, right? Holy crap, dude. Three out of four, and I'm like literally sitting here for all of 15 minutes doing this. So again, I'm just wanting to show you guys that really, none of these people knew who the hell I was. It wasn't like, oh, you're that TV guy. No, it's just professional, right? I just sound like I know what I'm talking about because I kind of do. Um, I hope you really enjoyed that. I sure did. And if you guys ever want to 
make some agent calls and you'd like to have me listen in on them, well, maybe if you leave me a comment below, we can make that happen. Maybe do it on a Zoom. I don't know. I'd love to help you guys do your agent outreach and be a coach for you real time. Leave me a message and tell me why you deserve it.